In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Your wedding is only for today. But your marriage is going to be for the rest of your lives. Dear Nikhil and Charlie, before I want to give my introduction, I was here six years. I don't remember whether I talked even two minutes with Charlie. She doesn't talk too much. I visited many times their family. But I surprised how she teaches in the school. <laughs> so I'm so happy to be here. And we welcome you in the name of Holy Martyrs of Japan Parish to celebrate your love for each other. Today you are going to exchange your wedding vows here at the sanctuary and this is the sacrament of marriage. You are going to make a sacred vow to give yourself to each other for the rest of your lives. From now on, you are going to share your life with each other, taking each other into consideration always. This day, you come to invite us, the people of God, to share in your joy. We are all very delighted to share in your joy on your wedding day. With open arms, we welcome you, Nickel, Charlie, as you welcome us into the experience of love you want to share with us here. Let us celebrate your love and the love of God upon you with joyful hearts and voices. We ask God to bless you on this day and all the days of your married life that you may increase your love for God and for each other. So keep in this, dear brothers and sisters, let us participate in this Holy Eucharist, acknowledging our sins and asking the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be attentive to your prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness uphold what you have established for the increase of the human race, so that the union you have created may be kept safe by your assistance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and to you. Reading from the book of Genesis. Then the Lord God said, It is
is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper as his partner. So out of the ground, the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all cattle and to the birds of the air and to every animal. Reading from the first letter of prayer to the Corinthians. Strive for the greater gifts, and I will show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful, or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable or resentful, it does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things hopes all things, endures all things, love never ends. The word of the Lord.
say as a sign of a love uniting Christ and the church establishes between the spouses a permanent and exclusive bond sealed by God. Therefore, the sacrament confers on them the grace they need for attaining holiness in their married life for responsible acceptance and upbringing of their children. A successful Christian marriage must be built up on a firm relationship with God. Christian marriage is not a contract between two, but a covenant among three. Jesus Christ must be invited to the wedding feast and he must have a special place in our homes as well as in our hearts. And through Christian marriage, Jesus promises to have couples. These couples carry their daily crosses and to live the high ideals of Christian love to which he calls them, especially today. The sacrament of marriage is not just for today, as I mentioned in the beginning. The sacrament of marriage is ongoing. Because your marriage is a sacrament. It has a lasting value. Your promise to each other is until death. To be faithful to each other always. What the Bible says on marriage is if you want to see what God's plan for His people is, you can see it in the fidelity of marriage. Dear Nickel and Charlie, we are all delighted to share your joy on your wedding day. We ask God to bless you on this day and keep you together forever. It is not your love that sustains your marriage. But from now on, the marriage that sustains your love. Love is not just sit there like a stone. It has to be made like bread. Remade all the time. Made new. Nickel and Charlie, start your day with a smile. Do not let anyone or anything that raised your face. Please stand. Prayer of the faith.
rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord For those who are lonely and for whom love is a stranger, that they find love, peace, and companionship in the community of the church, we pray to the Lord. Please be seated. I want to be Dear beloved, you have come together in the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly bless the love that binds you through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, in the presence of the Church, I ask you to state your intentions. Nickel, Char and Charlie, have you come here to enter into the marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Today we love. <laughs> yes. Yes. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other and for as long as you both shall live? Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His Church? Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. I make you. Take you, Charlene, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life.
May the Lord bless these rings which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity.
Pray, brother, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and my dear Father. Receive a prayer, O Lord, the offerings made on the occasion of this saving of the sacred bond of marriage, and just as your goodness is its origin, may your providence guide its course through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Yes, that's 
Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to the Lord that all these his servants, now man in Christ, he may mercifully pour out the blessing of his grace and may of one heart in love. By the sacrament of Christ's body and blood, those he joined by holy covenant. O God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you have set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable to the man that they might no longer be two but one flesh, and thought that what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery that in the wedding covenant you foreshadow the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to man, and the companionship there in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing, not forfeited by original sin, not washed away by the flag. Look now with favor on these your servants, joined together in marriage, who wants to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter, Charlie, and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May 
Her husband at first is hard to her, so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joy, here to the life of grace, you may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments. May one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all they do, with the strength that comes from the gospel. May they bear fruit witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children and grant that reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they go. They may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord.
your table we pray O Lord that those who are united by the sacrament of marriage may always hold fast to you and proclaim your name to the world through Christ our Lord the Lord be with you may almighty God bless you Father, Son and the Holy Spirit Witnesses, please.
want to say a few quick words. First of all, I would like to thank Father John, our pastor, who could not be here due to a prior commitment. And thank him for all the guidance he gave Sharin and Nick through this process. And I would like to thank Father Mani, who came all the way from Pickering to celebrate today's Mass. I would like to thank Deacon Dave, who helped us with everything. And last but not least, I would like to thank Jen and Ali for the wonderful music. We all enjoy, we all listen to them. Thank you. 